To view or adjust the door popper power setting, press the menu key for half a second to access the menus. Press the down arrow until you see door pop power in the display. Then press the select key. At this time, there are four choices. On off with car. This setting will turn the door popper on and off with the ignition. Car on, man off, or manual off. This setting will turn on the door popper every time the ignition is turned on and require the handler to manually turn off the door popper. Off all the time. This setting will turn off the door popper all the time until the menu setting is changed. On by arming. This exclusive feature allows you to keep the door popper off until you arm it for possible canine deployment. To explain how this feature works, I will choose it now by pressing the select key. Notice how the door popper turns off. I will also press the menu button to exit the menus. When you receive a radio call requesting canine or get into a situation where you might need to deploy your canine, you can very quickly arm the door popper by simply pressing the OK key. If you do this while driving, the door popper will attempt to arm but wait for the vehicle to come to a stop and be put into park. When you put the vehicle into park, the door popper will be armed and ready. The door popper is now ready for canine deployment. After the call or activity is complete and you return to your vehicle and put the vehicle in drive to leave, the door popper would disarm and turn completely off. You can always arm it again when the need arises.